Hi Stampers, I'm Nancy Novak. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and welcome back to my Merry and Bright tutorial. And if you are a subscriber of mine, you probably already know, but I'm going to let you know in case you don't, that I am here uh, every day, weekdays at noon. And what I do is I pick one Stamping Up product and then I make five projects and then I share them with you every day at noon. So today or this week, we're doing the Merry and Bright bundle, which is this fun stamp set, and it comes with the coordinating dies. So it's really great for making different Christmas tree light scenes and images, and it has these great sentiments that are really fun to use because you can mix and match them and create your own pretty little message on your card. So let me show you today's card. So we're using some pretty designer series paper, and this is the Merry and Bright designer series paper. And I'm using it this week, and I'm going to be using it next week. So let me show it to you really, really quick. So it's really bright and merry, and that's why they call it Merry and Bright. It's got really great colors in it, and some of it is Christmassy, and some of it can be just a celebration. But it's very, very pretty. Look at the different lights and the Christmas trees, the pretty colors. So yeah, this week and next week, this is the paper that I will be using. So that's the designer series paper there. And then open it up and it says, oh, what fun. And this little image is from the die cuts. So I, show, I will show you how to do that. And we're going to make our Christmas lights really shine with the magic of heat embossing. So let's get started. also want to mention that this card is the first card in my stamp and craft kit. So there's three cards. So this card and the next two days will be part of my stamp and craft kit. And those are delivered right to your door. And it's with a minimum order of $40 with using my host code. And that offer is good through Saturday. So every week it starts on Tuesday and it ends on Saturday. And it's for the current um, project that we're working on. So let me show you, give you an example. So this is the supplies that we are going to be using. I'm using Melon Mambo Base, and it's eight and a half by five and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. By the way, don't worry about the sizes because I'm not going to mention them all the way through my video, um, but I will have a project sheet on my blog. So you can go to stampandshout.blogspot.com, or if you look in the description below this video, you'll see the words project sheet, and that link will take you right there. And you'll also get a nice big picture of the card so you can see it really close up. You'll have all the measurements, all the supplies, and all the shopping links. But let's continue on with our supplies for today. So again, Melon Mambo Base. I have a stamping piece for the inside. And we have our front stamping piece. I have a piece of that pretty designer series paper. I have a scrap of green, a scrap of crushed curry, and a couple of scraps of white for stamping our sediment and our light bulbs. So this is basically what you get in the kit. You get all the supplies cut to size. If there's something that's different from the Merry and Bright bundle, um, I will also have that included in the kit. So let's get started. So I'm going to stamp Merry and Bright in Cajun Craze. Just like that. I'm going to stamp that one more time. That one didn't look as yellow to me, so I stamped it one more time. So eventually we're going to cut these out, but I'm just going to put them off to the side for now. So I'm going to bring my Christmas light bulb in, and I have that scrap. And I'm also going to bring in my piercing mat. So with the, with the photo polymer stamps, when I'm stamping something small like this, I don't really worry about... Um, using my piercing mat, although it's perfectly fine too. But when I have a larger image and it's solid, I like to use my piercing mat just because it really gives you a nice finished stamp look. So we're going to stamp this light bulb, this Christmas light, three times. Melon Mambo, Blueberry Bushel, and Granny Apple Green. So I like to use the simple, simply chamois for cleaning off my um, my stamps, and I know this looks terrible, 
I just cleaned it. There's hardly any ink left in there. There's a big blob of what looks like ink, but it cleans it really, really well. And if I'm stamping right away, like I did here, I just stamp off on a piece of paper towel just to make sure there's no wetness on my stamp. And then I just keep on stamping. Okay, so to create the shine on here, I'm gonna bring in Versamark and I'm gonna stamp right over the top of each one of those bulbs with the Versamark. Now I'm gonna bring in my embossing tool and I'm gonna bring in clear embossing powder. I'm gonna sprinkle it on here and then I am going to heat it up. That. And now we have really, really shiny Christmas lights. Isn't that cool? Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of die cutting. So I have my green strip and my uh, crushed curry and my stamped lights. So I'm gonna bring in the light bulb die and there are two of them. So I will cut those two out and then I'll cut that one out. And then there I'm gonna cut out three of the little Christmas light toppers. So there's two of those, so I'll cut out three. And then this piece here, this die right here, it cuts out two strings. It cuts out a loopy string and a straight string. And for today's card, I'm just going to use the straight string. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay that down. And now I'm going to cut all this out and I will be right back. Okay, so I have all the pieces cut out and we'll come back to that in a minute. And let's talk about this piece of designer series paper. So basically what I'm going to do, this is the way it's going to be on my card. And I marked three quarters of an inch there and three quarters of an inch there. And I'm going to put it in my cutter and that's how I'm going to cut it. Okay, so I have a little tick mark there at three quarter and a little tick mark there at three quarters. So I put both of those marks right on the cutting line. Or if you want, you could also use your little three quarter line marks on your um, cutting machine. So now I'm just going to hold that in place and give it a cut. So now you end up with these two pieces. So if you have any questions on that, go ahead and leave comments and let me know. But it's pretty easy to do. I think when you're doing it yourself, you'll totally understand what the what I did there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these pieces on. So I'm going to go ahead and finish building the light bulbs. So I'm going to bring in the little toppers and I'm going to place a glue dot on the top of each Christmas light and then go ahead and just place that right on top. So I'm going to bring my card base in and I'm going to glue this to the front of the card. And I'm going to bring in my three lights. I'm going to put two dimensionals on the back of each Christmas light. So I'm just going to kind of place them where I think they should be. And then I'm going to remove the sticky on the back of those dimensionals and lay them down. Okay, now I'm going to bring in our string and I'm going to go ahead and feed it through these loops. Just like that. And then I'm just going to trim it. And now I'm just bringing in a little scrap and I'm going to put some glue on here. And I'm just going to touch each end of that string with the glue just to hold it in place. And that's how I put the string on that card. So it's loose in here, but each end is glued down so it'll stay in place. So now I'm gonna bring in our 
little words, merry and bright. And I'm just going to fussy cut them, but I'm going to make sure I leave a little bit of white border on all edges. And then I'm going to pop those up. I'm just going to use the edges of my leftover, my last dimensionals, and pop those sentiments up. Okay, so can you see the shine on those light on those Christmas lights? It's pretty, very pretty. Isn't that a fun card? So let's do the inside real quick. So I'm going to bring in a scrap and I'm going to use this die right here, which matches these light bulbs. And I'm going to go ahead and cut a strip of those light Christmas lights out. Okay, so that strip is going to go right on the top of my card. But first I'm going to bring in my Stampin' Blends and I'm going to color those light bulbs in. So I just grabbed a bunch of uh, different colors. I have... This is Dark Melon Mambo. I think that one's discontinued. I have Flirty Flamingo. I have Pumpkin Pie. I have Granny Apple Green. I have Shaded Spruce. I have Mango Melody. I know that one's retired. And I have Night of Navy. Okay, so I'm going to stamp our sentiment on the inside, and I'm going to stamp, oh, what fun, and I'm going to stamp that in Melon Mambo. And I'm just going to apply some glue to the back of my lights and attach them to the top of our card. And you know I like to use my silicone mat to get that extra glue off. Now I'm going to glue that to the inside of our card. And there you go. That's day two's card. Isn't it pretty? Merry and bright. Those light bulbs, those Christmas lights are really, really shiny. <laughs> really looks fun. And then inside, we added more Christmas lights. Now, if you wanted, if you didn't want to do something like this, you could just add a strip of the designer series paper inside, and it would be just as pretty. So I hope you liked today's card. Let me know. Leave some comments. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Let us know where you're watching us from. And I will be back at noon tomorrow with a fun fold. So I'll see you then. Don't be shy. Stamp and shout.